Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new and more affordable Shadow Systems Foundation Series. Let's get to it. This channel is proud to be sponsored by the USCCA, which is one of the best memberships you could ever have in your wallet. And I want to let you guys know about some freebies that are going to be gone very soon. These are only going to be available to the end of the day on February 28th. So you have a couple days to jump on this if you want to be a member. So first off, we have this Otis cleaning kit right here. Very nice cleaning kit with all your patches and your brushes and your swabs, stuff like that. That's going to be for all membership tier levels. Another one that they're going to have, and this is a very short run because they don't have many of them, is going to be this uh, Pelican Vault case right here, which is extremely nice. Pelican only makes really nice high-end stuff, and this is definitely one of the nicer pistol cases that you're going to find. Uh, very nice with the foam in the middle right there. Get one of those nice high quality pistols that you got, the ones that cost over $1,000. Pop that thing in here and it's gonna stay nice and safe in this Pelican vault case, which is also, again, free for all tier levels. Now for Platinum and Elite, you're also gonna get on top of these, that big range duffel bag. So definitely worth getting a membership now within the next couple days before the 28th is out. Okay, so sitting in front of me right now is the Shadow Systems Foundation Series, which I've been using now for almost a year. I have the DR920, which is the duty roll 920, the MR920, which is the multi-roll, and then we also have the XR920, which is like a crossover. So what makes the Foundation Series different from other Shadow System pistols? Well, you might be used to seeing the ones in the case that are really fancy, right? They have the fluted barrels, threaded barrels, window cuts in the slide, and you know, they're, they're absolutely beautiful pistols, but they cost a little bit of money. There's a lot of people out there that say, look, I don't need all of that stuff. I, I want the grip, I want the pistol, but you know what, charge me less and get rid of the stuff that I don't need. That's kind of what they did with the Foundation series. They went back to the foundation of what makes this such a great pistol, and that's what you get. So again, they're, they're hundreds of dollars less. So we still have the same grip. So we have the extended beaver tail. We have the, the uh, great grip texture. We have the undercut on the trigger guard. We still have all of the great features of the slide and allowing it to you know accept an optic. We have the serrations front and back, uh, you know, steel sights, everything like that. But without all of that extra fancy stuff that people just, a lot of people just don't need and they don't want to pay extra for. Now, we'll take a closer look at these here in just a minute. We'll talk about some of the features and some of the things that were omitted and changed and what makes these the Foundation Series. But first, I gotta say that I've had these for a significant amount of time. I, I waited on purpose to make this video until I had a lot of ammunition through each one of these. And each one of these has seen over 1,200 rounds. Now, that took a lot of time. I went out to special events. I let people shoot them. Uh, I went to an event with Chuck Liddell, and he got to shoot them. And so they've been in multiple hands and used by a lot of different people. And so each one of them has been run through their paces. And so the most important things to me when it comes to a pistol, especially a defensive pistol, a fighting pistol, is it reliable? Is it accurate and does it have good capacity? Those are my three most important things. Not necessarily how does it look, what color is it, you know, what does the barrel look like, Not, nothing like that. It, it just comes down to reliability, accuracy, and capacity for me. And these have all three been 100% reliable. I have not had a single issue with any of these, and they are extremely accurate. You're still getting Shadow Systems barrels. You're still getting the accuracy out of those barrels. You're still getting excellent sights and a great sight picture. Uh, the same sight radius that you would expect out of their counterparts, which would be like the Glock 17, the Glock 19, and the Glock 19X, which is kind of what they, you know, the comparable counterparts to each one of these are. So when it comes to reliability, accuracy, and capacity, these all get a 10 out of 10. So for me, when it comes to the most important things, these pistols have been flawless. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that make the Foundation Series a little bit different. We've already gone over some of them, but one of the ways that they were able to bring the cost down is by not putting it in a bag. So typically when you buy an Elite Series or something like that from Shadow, you get this you know, really nice bag. It's a carry case and you can put all your stuff in it and so you don't have to buy you know, a range bag for it. It comes with a bag. Uh, well, they got rid of the bag and now you get the box, right? So when you get the box, it just has your standard information in it. You know, you get your shadow system sticker, you get the owner's manual, you get a spare magazine, you know, you get the stuff that you need with it. Your lock, all that stuff is gonna be located right at the bottom here, including is, uh, included is also an extra magazine. It's going to be uh, an extra PMAG, and then you also get the back straps. So we do still have additional back straps right here, so you can change the size and all that. You don't lose the ability to do that. You also get some oils, you get the screws and, you know, different things for mounting different optics, which is great. Uh, they say that there's a break-in period on these, or at least I've heard that they say there's a break-in period on these. But for me, I didn't have to break these in at all. As a matter of fact, these ran pretty much flawless from the first round to the very last round before I made this video. Uh, it's a really good owner's manual. There's a lot of great information in there. And these uh, Magpul little PMAGs here, these nine millimeter PMAGs, have actually worked out really well. So for me in these, the only thing that I've used are going to be, I, I forget the brand, sorry guys, I forget the brand of them, but they're the, the you know, 30 round um, clear ones, right? So I've used those. Uh, I've used the PMAG and I've also used the standard, you know, Glock factory uh, magazines in these. So that's pretty much all I've used when it comes to magazines. But uh, it, I haven't had any break-in period, nothing like that. Everything's worked fine from the beginning, but you still get the accessories that you need. You get the one mag that comes with it, you get the extra mag, you get the back straps, and then you get the extra, uh, extra mounting supplies. So that's kind of how they changed the packaging. They got rid of the fancy packaging and just went to, you know, your basic standard stuff. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about some of the differences between the Foundation Series and let's say the Combat or Elite models. So when you open up the box, obviously these are going to be in a plastic bag. You're going to get this little rubber band that's around the uh, grip right there. That's just for aesthetics. You can take these off. I just put them back on for the, uh, for the video itself. But with these pistols, you're going to notice they're really nice looking pistols. So if you're worried about them, you know, aesthetically not being as nice as the other ones, I think that they are just as nice. They're just missing some of the uh, fancier stuff, like I said before. So you still get the really nice shadow system slide. It's a very nice slide with kind of angled cocking serrations towards the front and towards the rear. You're going to notice that there's no window cutouts in the front, you know, so you can see the barrel or anything like that. It's just a complete slide. As a matter of fact, I prefer that when it comes to a fighting gun, when it comes to a carry gun, I don't ever carry anything that has a window. I've seen how fast that all the lint can kind of build up in your holster and that lint can become an issue. Some people don't have a problem with that whatsoever. They clean it on a daily basis or maybe they clean it every few days and they keep that stuff out of there. I'm a little bit lazier than that. So, you know, when it comes to lint building up and stuff, maybe I'll take it out and clean it once a week and there, there's a little bit of build up there and some people think that could cause a problem. So for me and some other people out there, we just like to carry things that don't have windows. And so this doesn't have any windows. It just has the nice cocking serrations again. They're at a really nice angle. They work really well. It's easy to get a grip and it's easy to uh, be able to manipulate the slide with these. They also have the same optics cap that you're gonna see on other shadow systems. But one of the differences that you probably won't even notice even by touch, it's really hard for me to notice, is that uh, the caps are going to be polymer. So you're gonna have a polymer cap instead of a milled cap that takes a lot more time, it's more expensive to produce and so forth. You know, each, each cap that has to go on there has to go through a machining process. And so again, that takes time, it takes money, and that costs a little bit extra. But with the polymer ones, they're a little bit easier to run. They're just as durable, in my opinion. I don't see any problem with them whatsoever. And obviously, if you're just gonna take it off and throw a red dot on there, then it's not something that you're probably going to ever see again anyway. So putting on a polymer cap just makes sense. So we don't have the threaded barrel. We don't have a fluted barrel, but we still have a very accurate Shadow Systems barrel. It's got the Shadow Systems logo on the side of it. All three of these are going to be 9 millimeter. Um, so, you know, we have a really nice barrel, a really nice setup, but again, without the fancy stuff. Now, unlike Glock, and one of the biggest problems that I have with Glock is the fact that they still ship them out with the plastic sights, you know, the polymer sites that that always kind of drove me nuts there's people out there that say there's not a problem with them but i've seen too many examples 
of those sites breaking. I mean, people rack them off their truck or their shoe or whatever, you know, other thing they decide to do with it. I've seen them break. You know, I've seen people drop them on concrete and they break. So we have some really nice metal sites on here. It's a, a standard single dot site. So we have a white dot that's in the front and then the rear is kind of serrated and blacked out in the back right there. So basically just gives you a really nice clear sight picture where you're just focusing on that front white dot. Now, when it comes to the frame, it's gonna be the same as on the elite models, gonna be the same as on the combat models. That hasn't changed at all. So we have that enhanced trigger guard, which is really nice. Uh, we have the undercut, so you can get that grip on there. Uh, really nice, high and tight. It's got the extended beaver tail, which is kind of snag free. So the way they designed the beaver tail on these is so that it's at an angle and it's gonna remain snag free, but at the same time, it protects your hands. If you're you know, one of those guys that has those big meaty bear paws, and sometimes you know, you'll grab something, you'll get that little bit of a, a pinch, you're not gonna have it with the shadow system frames, and it's gonna be same across the board. So everything that I'm saying about one is gonna be the same about all three. So really nice, uh, you get that enhanced texture. It's a very nice grippy texture. I would put it at like a, a medium texture, so it's not super sandpaper-like, but at the same time, when I'm out, you know, it's 115 degrees out here in the Las Vegas desert, my hands are extremely sweaty. I haven't noticed that I've lost control at all. Uh, it's always worked out really well for me. Now, we also have on both sides a little bit of a gas pedal. Um, you know, it's kind of where you would, one, index your finger if you're a righty or a lefty. On either side, you could use it to uh, index your finger. But on the other hand, you can go ahead and you could use it as like a, a spot for your thumb. There's a small ledge right here and you can use that to help kind of reduce muzzle flip. So you get that on there with that texture as well. Now, let's say you're somebody who's owned a couple of Glocks in the past. So maybe you have a drawer full of holsters for it, right? And you're wondering about compatibility. Uh, I've, I've got, I don't know, five or six different brands for Glock holsters. And I've tried those brands, including the uh, Safari Land holsters and everything's worked fine for me. They fit in there just fine. This is a Glock 19 holster. This is the XR920. So it's got like the 19 slide, but the 17 grip. And it's fit in every holster that I have put it in. So compatibility for me has been fine. I've heard that other people have run into certain issues with some brands of holsters and different brands that I don't own. But with the brands that I do own, uh, holster compatibility across the board has been just fine. So that's not been an issue. Now, another difference between these and let's say the combat or elite models is when you buy the more expensive models, you typically get a polymer mag well that comes with it. These don't have that extra polymer mag well. So for me, I didn't usually put on a mag well unless it was like a competition gun or something I was using for those purposes. Otherwise, I wanted the slimmest profile on my grip possible, especially if it was something that I was gonna carry or try and conceal. You know, it's the, the end of the mag well that's going to give you the most print, right? And so for me, keeping that as slim as possible is what I was looking for. So again, that wasn't really a big issue that they omitted that. Now, another thing that they changed up here to try and save a little bit of money, since they didn't really change all that much. I mean, the slide's pretty much the same, right? The frame is the same. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things on here that are the, the same as the more expensive models. Uh, the trigger is one of the things that they changed, not the trigger assembly. So the entire trigger assembly is going to be the same, but they, cha they changed the trigger shoe. So instead of having an aluminum machined trigger shoe, now we have a polymer trigger shoe. Now the trigger shoe is pretty much gonna be the same, right? We're gonna have that little safety bar that's gonna be in the center right there. Nice thing, especially again, over Glocks, is that that trigger bar in the center, the little safety, does recess all the way into the trigger shoe, which is one of the things that absolutely drives me nuts about my Glocks is you have that small safety bar in the center. It doesn't recess all the way in there and it just sticks out you know, enough to be annoying, right? It just sticks out enough to be annoying. These are much wider, flatter, and they fit back into that trigger shoe. So again, it's a polymer trigger shoe, which doesn't seem to create any problems whatsoever. It still feels exactly the same with the same trigger bar, same disconnect. Everything's gonna be the same except for that shoe. So that's kind of where they save the money and that's pretty much the only places that I can find where they kind of change things up to try and make these things a little bit more affordable. So again, the shoe, the fact that there's no barrel that has uh, you know fluting on it or uh, threads or anything like that, the fact that uh, there's no window cuts and the fact that we have the, you know, the polymer on the uh, 
the optics cap and the trigger shoe itself. That seems to be really our only money savings. Oh, again, you know, besides the way that it comes in the box, which for me, I don't use those small cases that come with it anyway. I use, you know, a different case usually when I'm carrying things or something that can carry multiple. So again, those those to me are not really that big of a deal, but saving hundreds of bucks, that's, that's actually a pretty big deal. That's the thing that I care about the most here. Getting something that's accurate, reliable, has good capacity and doesn't break the bank, but still looks like this and functions like these, that's kind of where the win is when it comes to the foundation series. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've been a fan of shadow systems for a long time, and they sent these out for me to test and review for you, but I put them through their paces. I make sure that I, I didn't just phone this one in and just, you know, accept what it was after a, a single day of use at the range or maybe even two days of use at the range. Uh, I've used these frequently for a significant amount of time just to see how well they've held up. I mean, I've been reviewing shadow system stuff since before they even made pistols. They used to just make slides you know, and different components and stuff like that. And I, I've reviewed that when I made my own. So again, I've, I've known shadow systems for a long time. I've trusted them for a long time. I carried them for a long time. And I can say that these are definitely, uh, these are top of the line pistols. They're not flashy, but they're definitely top of the line pistols. They work really well and they will get the job done. So I'm really impressed by them, uh, especially for people that are on, you know, a sub $1,000 budget, which a lot of us are on these days. So I hope if you're somebody who's been looking at the foundation series and wondering, you know, what are the actual differences between these and the other series that Shadow System has to offer, that I answered some of your questions. Again, they're like 85% the same as the other one. Again, the same trigger minus the shoe, the same grip, the same, you know, accessories that you can use with them, you know, the same optics cut, you have the same sights, the same serrations, you know, again, it's just without the flash, which saves uh, hundreds. So I just wanted to let you know about that, review them for you and let you know that these are absolutely fantastic pistols. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, have a great day.